Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome to my channel. And welcome back to Psycho Starship Rampage. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's very, very obvious. I have a giant extra piece protruding from my behind. And this is nothing but a crude black hole cannon level 21. It's insane. It's insane. It's, I tested it. And uh, unintentionally, I mean, I wanted to just check my weapons, but then I somehow ended up going to another sector. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I know how it happened. So, what happened was, I installed a black hole cannon, right? And then I'm trying to see what it, what it does, what it feels like, what it is, and all that stuff. So I exit the screen, right? And I go over here, and I load the black hole cannon up, because it has like preheating, it's like an oven, you have to preheat it for like a certain amount of time. But my dumbass, I don't know what this extra noise is, but my dumbass ended up firing the black hole cannon. And I was like, ooh, I wonder what would happen if I touch it. And I went and I touched it and I blew up. And uh, because of that, I had to actually pick a new spot on the map and it took me into a mission. And <laughs> it was all chaotic. But here's the black hole cannon. It's, it's crazy, right? That's just nuts, right? And you're not even allowed to use the black hole cannon during boss battles. You're, it's, I mean, I don't know if all boss fights are like that. I think it's just insta kill. Uh, when I when I had had the you know forced pleasure of going against the the boss of this last stage that was not recorded, um, it kept saying there there are anti black hole cannon measures in place and stuff like that. But this episode, I actually uh, I'm going to dedicate it not to missions, but. Maybe one mission at the end if I have time, but it's going to be mostly remodeling my my craft, basically, I should call it. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know what's going to come out of it. <laughs> We're just going to do a bunch of random things. I'm going to move things around, and uh, I'm going to fast forward it, put some music to it, and let's see what happens. It'll be interesting, right? We'll see. All right, guys. Until the uh, until we look different. Until then.
All right, guys. So I don't know what the sound glitch is, but I think this is a decent design. Um, I apologize for this for this audio thing in the game. I think it's like a glitch. But we have definitely a more compact design. Our ship is a little smaller, and um, and I also made sure that I'm using. I don't know if I don't have any sort of shielding or plating, but I'm actually using my uh, larger pieces, like these four by one pieces, as guards for for most of the weapons and some some support in the back and definitely for the front and the main computer who we are like the brain of of this spaceship so these blocks can take up to 10,000 over 10,000 damage before they get destroyed leaving my core exposed to any sort of danger while the three block ones have <laughs> it's incredibly it's so significant it's like 3,000 less Hall, basically, or life, I should say, and um, I'm just basically trying to protect uh, with other things. I'm trying to protect the inside parts of the ship better, like more of the core processes and modules that the ship has, like power generation, um, re repairs and regen, and and power capacity, basically, and and all this stuff there. As you can see, they're shelled inside here in almost a circle, if I may say. Um, while everything else is on the outside, kind of protecting it. And these things are going to be upgraded soon, if I can, to um, plating or, or at least maybe even reflector shielding. But I think right now we're pretty good. We have a <laughs> just so many cannons, plasma cannons or plasma guns, whatever they are, shooting forward. They are called. Yeah, plasma cannons. Um, we have the mines that simu simultaneously shoot forwards and backwards. And um, I did it this way because I realized that even if I don't get anything with the front mines, they're going to stay there until something comes and collides with them. Because the stages get filled with enemies, so them launching at the same time is not going to be problematic. But it's the mines are mostly going to be used for um, back enemies. And when bosses get behind me, I can just toss the mine behind me. Another thing that I added is obviously the black hole cannon, and uh, it's I'm not gonna touch it. It'll just murder me. It's just crazy. And we also have the rockets. We have four rocket systems shooting it simultaneously. As you can see, they lag behind the super fast bullets, the plasma shots. But um, they also simultaneously activate uh, with the plasma cannons that I shoot. And I also added uh, to the whole thing. I I kind of remapped the different other different random abilities uh, so for instance the backfiring plasma cannons uh, they're activated using the left trigger so I can I don't waste energy when I'm shooting in front of me because as you can see my energy consumption is a lot um, and uh, lastly I I moved around weapons a little more I don't know I guess I kind of thought about where on the screen I want each thing to kind of show up and it's also it looks like we have eyeballs on our, on our ship. But for instance, I kind of moved these tractor beams apart. I don't know if that's going to make them weaker or not, but I it, it gives me more grabbing range. Um, the laser lasers are also a little further apart for the shooting range. The cannons are also further apart, uh, but also close. Um, the mines were re-angled, the back stuff were re-angled. So we're ready to go, basically. Um, just don't want to get exploded by the mines. Running self-diagnostic, all systems are functioning beautifully. I am the apex of evolution, the peak of creation. Such an unknowing universe, devoid of conscience. And I am here to witness it all and silence it again. For the voices in my head never stop speaking and screaming. They must be disassembled and reassembled again, anew in myself. Only when I have destroyed them all will they know peace and my sail as well. All right, so we're getting really close to Earth. <laughs> very close, very close to Earth. Um, and I don't want to like advance too quickly because these points don't have anything. They're not harboring any sort of ability. So I'm just going to go to this easy one, which is going to be some basic money. Yeah, my shooting speed is insane. My power is very, very, very insane. Granted, we're on easy, so it's or easy sector, so enemies are, are supposed to die a little easier, but we're also further in the game, which means 
more damage in general, more enemies on the screen in general, and, uh, oh god, if I can only... Oh, where, where did I put it? Oh, it's here. What's behind? Something's striking me from behind. I like the full screen wipes like that. So many weapons. So many weapons are mapped to so many places, but I feel like I have something for every occasion and situation. I just have to remember to use them. Like the back the plasma cannons are very useful and very powerful now. I'm definitely able to take enemies out and I have to remember to use them. And the back mines. These things are all important. <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. You monsters. But it's definitely such a such a fun shmup. And I, I honestly love this game. I think it's very creative. I think it's very well made. As, as a bullet hell, as, as a... Ah! Grab upgrades and like, kind of, it's kind of RPG style game. Just, oh, I didn't get to... Oh, yeah, see, I can't use my black hole cannon in here. Oh my god. Wow, dude. You just... You just had to be an asshole, didn't you? Oh god. Thank you. Oh shit. How? How am I supposed to get out of that? Oh god. Oh my god, I'm taking constant damage. I'm stuck here. We're gonna die. Well, we didn't die because I'm super powerful, but holy shit, that was. I'm just all red. And I think I missed a thing. Thank you. We have to do another mission. This was too easy. I mean, not only it was too easy, but uh, we're not getting much from it. And I also need to show you guys my black hole cannon. I didn't get to use it again. Uh, out of these things, though, I should take the torpedoes and invest a little bit of money in... in oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. The game crashed. This is... This is... Not cool. Not cool, man. What's gonna happen now? Oh no! All my stuffs is. Continue. Okay. I think it's fine. Yeah, I think we're we are indeed where we where we were before. All right, so uh, what I wanted to do, what did I want to do? I just said it, I totally forgot. Torpedo launcher, yes. Torpedoes. Let me see if I can use these torpedoes. Not that expensive. I can definitely do two. We'll improve the blueprint. What can I grab? That will be good. Less cost, less damage. Not really, I don't like, I don't like that. Uh, what are this? What is this one? Cost, damage, speed, and piercing? Nah, no. How about we take this one? No, not this one. I mean, uh, cost one, and then something related to damage like that, or like uh. 
or something blank would be fine too. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, improve. Install. Um, I honestly don't know how much power they use, so... I can, I mean, I can check that. Let's just check that real quick. They use, let's say, compared to the plasma. Which I think is, uh, which one do I have installed? I have 20, level, recycling level 25. So, compared to the recycling level 25, which, which are these... These use 690 energy per second. This uses, oh man, over twice as much. Um, what I can do is I can basically add all my rockets and torpedoes to the same button. see because I think this way I can just um, again save energy when it comes to my uh, plasma and I can just use my front plasma more freely and then I can opt for some heavy damage with these rockets and torpedoes um, with another button that would be easy to press and I'm going to set that as the right trigger but then something else is attached to the right trigger which is the beams and we're going to use the move the beams to X like they were before. So now we have uh, a collection of cannons firing with A. And then we have torpedoes. Oh, I see. Ah. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's, I, I like that. Even if even if they are charged things and they don't shoot right away, like the like the missiles, I'm still okay with it. We still have ten thousand. Is there anything that my ship really needs that I don't have on it? Um, I could definitely upgrade these plasma cannons. I think because I just got. Can I improve this blueprint? No. I think yellow ones are locked. I think you no longer you can you, you can't do any more improvement on the blueprint of the yellow ones. So what I'm going to do is just go through these tabs. Let's see what's going on. Uh, my mine launchers uh, are actually different levels each. Oh, they're not. Oh, I thought they used to be. So they're level 18, and I can at least upgrade them to level 20 for a lot more damage. Uh, and I can afford that for basically, I think, all of them. Wait, 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 wait. I want to see if I can actually upgrade this beam instead. Where's my beam? Here it is. Because this is such a strong beam. I wish, I wish it was stronger, so I think this would be a wiser idea. How many of these beams do I have? Oh, damn it. These are level 13. You're kidding me. That's awful. Um, we can go up to 23. We wish we could, is what I mean. So we definitely need more money to upgrade those. So what I'm going to do is go, go back to these mine launchers. Uh, the back mine doesn't matter. The back mine can stay as it is. Because I don't need to deal that much more damage to the back. Uh, the front ones, though, if I can upgrade them to at least level 20, that's still a lot more damage. And maybe we were su when we were super rich, and we have 21,000 to spare. 21,000 minus 500, so we, when we have like 16, 17,000 to spare, um, we can go come and upgrade them again. But for now, yes. And can I upgrade my repair bots as well? That would be awesome. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be sweet. Level 20. This one was also level... Oh, this is level 17. Oh, that sucks. Uh, there's more. 17 and 20. So we have two 20s, two 17s. 
Oh, that sucks. Can I go any higher with the 21s? Or at least one of them? Because I would, I would love to at least upgrade one of them. It's going to cost me 11,000. No, that's for two. 5,000 for... Let's see if I can just do one. And let's see if I can actually afford upgrading one of the shittier ones. No. I can upgrade one of the better ones, so... Oh, no! That kind of sucks. We can't do that. How about turning these into reflector things? Polarized shape shifting hall. Excuse me? It, this is a reflector one. I think this would be nice. Well, just one of them, right? Just this one, but I, I really like that. It says absorb, uh, it says, um, yeah, absorbs energy attacks, but then it's re it reflects them, so it has an ability called right back at ya. Um, it only works with energy attacks, but that's awesome, actually. Ooh. Cool! Can I protect my back with anything, or am I too broke now? Any sort of shielding would be nice. Defense, what is this? Cost, life, absorption. I really wish I could get these, actually. These shields have radius. I think I definitely, my next upgrade needs to be these. Shields! Forget about everything else I said. Shields? Shields! Oh, man. Yeah, let's go ahead. Let's go do another mission so we have some more money. So we can get the shields. I think the shields are going to be very important. Off limits next turn. Um, well, I wish I could see the difficulty here. I don't see it. Let's go to medium. Everything was beautiful and nothing hurt. Did it reflect? I don't know. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. Who knows? Yeah, those torpedoes rock, dude. Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, that's not repair. Oh my god, I'm taking so much damage. I thought that was repair. There's so many new buffs that I have that are not repair. Get the fuck out of here! Oh man, it's missing so many scraps, but I don't have a choice! It's, it's insane!
fuck? Out of energy. I am out of energy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, this is so heavy. Oh shit, I'm so red. I'm going to blow up. Give me repair. Oh, I still didn't get to use my black hole cannon. Damn it! Makes it so salty. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh wow. That was so quick. That happened so fast. That's why I need these shieldings! Oh my god. Okay, let's see what it says. Automatic reverse emergency jump. Returning to last clear sector. The enemy fleet is very close. If I fail again, I will. it will catch up with me and I will be terminated. Which conflicts with rule number three. It says I gotta live. So, that happened. That was pretty bad. But... Um, oh, I can come back here. I didn't know that. Uh, that was bad. I, I whiffed it on the boss, but I didn't know the boss was going to be so insane and was just going to just murder my face like that. Just the number of, sheer number of shots and damage with this. But yeah, I, we're going to try again in the next episode, guys. I hope that you liked this one. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. Please leave a like, subscribe, share. I, I, it would mean a lot to me. I would tremendously appreciate that. And thank you for your time and attention, guys. I will see you in the next episode of Psycho Starship Ravage. Bye.